Okay, welcome back. On our last segment, we talked about creating a schedule as far as teacher by teacher and uh, assigning different things for them. Now we're going to show you how easy it is to add a, a student to the schedule and also to make changes in the schedule, which happens a lot on the fly and needs to be easy as possible. So to add a new student, let's pan over here onto our screen. We're going to take an example here of a student um, and the teacher happens to be Heather Friedman and she has a time slot open at 2.30. So when I hover over the time, see there's 2.30, there's 2.45. I'm going to go to 2.30. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to type in an existing student who wants to add a lesson. I'm going to, her name is Juliana. Oops, Giovanna, wrong one. Let's try this again, Juliana. All right, there she is. Now here it shows you that we're at the Avalon School of Music. The teacher's name is Heather. The session type is she's going to do 30-minute piano lesson. It automatically allocates that time in the schedule. And we also have a resource where we set up all of our rooms so that we don't double book rooms. Um, she happens to be in a room called Ella Fitzgerald, one of my favorite singers. And now we can book Juliana just for a one-time appointment or we can book her for a, on a reoccurring basis. Let's just do her one time right now. So we're going to click on that and boom, there's Juliana for her piano lesson. Now say after that time gets booked, Mrs. Uh, uh, Juliana's mom calls and says, uh, hey listen, I can't make it at 2.30, do you have anything later in the day? All right, I look at Heather Friedman's schedule and I see that she has something later here. Uh, looks like about 7.15 would be the time. So if, I, if Mrs. Uh, uh, Ms. Juliana's mom is available to bring her in later, I can simply click and hold that and drag that right down here to the 7.15 time slot. When I release it, it automatically asks, are you sure? When I say OK, boom, it moved it and it says an appointment change notification email was sent. So not only did I confirm it with her on the phone, but the system automatically sends her mom an email saying your lesson time has been changed. And also it sends a, a, a note to the teacher saying that the lesson time has changed. So that takes two phone calls out or reminders off your plate to do. So that's how easy it is to change a lesson and to add a lesson to the schedule.